Have you ever wondered why the traditional road bike geometry look like this while the modern road bike look like this? The traditional horizontal top tilt geometry is not common in today's world anymore. All this was started by a bicycle company from Taiwan. Today, let's dig into some bicycle history and how giant become giant in the bicycle world. In 1971, King Liu's eel farming business was destroyed by a typhoon. After his eel farming business went down, King decided to start a bike manufacturing company at Taichung. The CEO, Tony Lo, joined up with King Liu to drive the business forward and in 1977, they secured a big breakthrough, which is manufacturing bicycles for US company, Swin. During 1980, it is a mark of crucial change for Swin Bicycle and they moved the production to Taiwan and King's company was the company who sealed the contract. Swin was really impressed by the high quality bicycle supply by this Taiwanese company and by 1985, King's company have become the most important supplier for Swin, making two-thirds of their buy and a whopping 75% of sales. With the demand spike of high-quality bicycles, King and Tony decided to branch out and start producing bicycles under giant name and officially launched in Europe in 1986 and a year later at 1987 in the US. Swin, however, wasn't happy with the new competitor in the market and cut the ties with giant and found a supplier in China. However, Things didn't go well with Swin, which led to their bankruptcy in 1992. Meanwhile, Giant moved forward with the skills and expertise without Swin. In 1987, Giant introduced their first KDX 980C road bike, which was the first mass-produced carbon fiber road bike at that time. This again gives Giants a big timestamp in bicycle history. During that time, road bike frames were commonly designed in the traditional diamond shape. While this is the common norm in bicycle manufacturers, it does come with some downside. The frame maker will have to produce frames in various sizes. For those who come from the mid 80s, you probably remember that road bike frames usually come in size 50, 52, 54, 56, and so on. And this is both a pain point for consumer, frame makers, and also distributors. The bike distributors will need to have various size in the store to fulfill the different consumer and consumer will have a hard time looking for the right size at different bike stores. While the mountain bike will commonly come with S, M and L size become a very popular choice for the consumer due to the all-road ability of the bike and also easy sizing entry. In the mid-90s, Giant decided to work with legendary bike designer Mike Bureau designing another remarkable road bicycle which is familiar looking with today road bikes. A sloping top tail and a smaller rear triangle frame which inspired from mountain bike at that time. This configuration is said to be stiffer than a more conventional diamond frame design and it is lighter because less material is used. And this is the starting point of today's road bike evolution. The total compact road TCR were enormous economic benefit for Giant. Namely, that they didn't have to make 10 frame sizes using 10 sets of tooling. They could mass produce by using 3 more and that makes a lot of economic sense. In 1997, Giant took over by sponsorship of Spanish Onsay team. Sponsoring a pro team was the final piece of the jigsaw for Bureau and Giant. The radical sloping frame which jar aesthetically with the classic horizontal top tube would need to win races at elite level before road cycling industry accepted it and Onsay did win the race. The Union Cyclist International UCI initially object to the Giant Geometry. The CEO of Giant Europe sat down together with UCI to agree with the frame design and from that point on every new road bike design was influenced by the TCR DNA. Almost all of the race bike are designed with the compact geometry. Today in 2021, Giant has launched the 9th generation TCR with the 2021 flagship TCR Advanced SR this frame said to be lighter, stiffer and more aerodynamic than the outgoing model. Other than producing bicycle for their own brand, Giant produced frame for various big names in the industry as well, namely Trek, Conago, Scott and a lot more. And 
Jaira has been the main brand in the bicycle industry, which is considered one of the brands who are always driving change in the industry. Building their own ecosystem by having an in-house component brand and fitting system, we can foresee Jaya will be living by the brand name in the bicycle industry. Now, who knows that a typhoon will make so much impact to bicycle design. That's all for today's video. If you like content like this, do subscribe to my channel and also hit the little bell icon so you will get notification whenever I upload a new video. Until the next one, bye-bye.